Creating indexes is something we all have to do from time to time. And time is indeed the issue. It can be a very long running process. When Oracle creates an index, it has to sort the index key columns. As far as I know, Oracle has never published its sorting algorithms, and we certainly have no influence over them. But we can observe the process. Sorting can be seen to proceed in memory, specifically the PGA memory allocated to the session. For example, if I log on to create a fresh session like this, and I'll just connect to the Scott demonstration schema, we can see the amount of memory allocated to my session at this precise moment, just by querying read all the process for my session. And right now, I am using less than two megabytes of PGA, and the most that's ever been assigned to my session is indeed two megabytes. Now, if I want to create an index, that means sorting data. If there is insufficient memory PGA assigned to my session for the sort to proceed purely in memory, the sort will spill to disk to my temporary table space. When that begins to happen, the process will slow down terribly. A particular case is when doing a data pump import. That may involve creating many indexes on large tables and will often be the slowest part of the import processes process. Now, the PGA auto management algorithm is usually very effective at passing memory out between all sessions according to need and reclaiming it when the memory is no longer required. So if your session wants to create an index, it has to sort some data, the automatic management mechanism will assign it more PGA for the duration of the sorting process. Generally speaking, automatic PGA management is far superior to the old manual mechanism. However, there are some circumstances where it really doesn't do a very good job, and index creation may be one of them. The issue with automatic PGA management is that the algorithm places a limit on the maximum PGA a session can ever have. This is irrespective of your setting for the PGA aggregate targets and the PGA aggregate limits, and it is perhaps surprisingly low. The limit is a hidden parameter, PGA max size. We can look at it if I connect as sysdba, it's you know, to see an underscore parameter, I do need quite high privileges. And we see here that by default, it is only 200 megabytes. That's all. That's not very much if you're going to index a large table. OK, you can change it. But unfortunately, you can't change it at the session level. If I should do, try to do that, for example, if I try to set my PGA max size to 500 megabytes, for some reason, you can't do it. It's not session modifiable. You can change it at the system level with an alter system command, but then all sessions will keep up, will pick up that new value. And you're going to be hitting the PG aggregate target in no time. So what's the solution to this? You want a way to give your one session that's going to generate the indexes all the memory it needs without impacting on any other sessions. You do that by reverting to the old fashioned manual space management, manual memory space management mechanism for your indexing session only. This won't impact on other users and may speed up your indexing hugely. Now let's see if I can demonstrate the effect of going to manual PGA memory management. I'm working on the Scott schema, and I've got a table called customers, which is based on the 
sh.customers table, the customers table and the sh demonstration schema. I've multiplied the rows up a few times to get a sensible amount of data. So in my customers table, I have about 14 million rows. That's not big, but it should be enough for the purposes of demonstration. Now, I'm going to index the cus last name, cus first name columns. And we'll see how long it's going to take. So my index creation, I'll kick off here. My apologies, let me copy again. All right, create index NI on customers, cus last name, cus first name. I put a bit of tuning into it. I'm using no logging to disable the redo generation and some parallelism in an attempt to make it create a bit faster. And that's 11.38 seconds. Now, I want to make sure that result is repeatable. So I'll drop the index and run the creation statement again. This is because I want to make sure that I'm not going to be getting any benefits or distortions caused by caching, perhaps, from repeating the same command. 10.9 seconds. So that's reasonably repeatable, about 11 seconds in total to do it. <clears throat> now, I'll drop the index again. And what I'm going to do now is apply the fix. First, I'm going to adjust my session to use manual PGA management. Then I'm going to give myself a lot of memory, or the potential to have a lot of memory. I'm giving myself a sort area size that can go up to one gigabyte. And remember, with automatic management, I'll never get more than 200 megabytes of PGA. My session here can now have a gigabyte. If I create the index now, let's see how long it takes. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half seconds. Repeat the exercise, just to be sure it's a repeatable result. One, two, three, four, five, there we are. So I've gone from 11 seconds down to five and a half seconds. I've halved the time it takes to create that index by reverting to manual PGA management. That's a pretty good result. On a large table, the benefits will be much, much greater. To conclude, Indexing and the time it takes to do the exercise can be a big issue at some sites. Index creation will impact on performance and also on system availability. A particular problem is when you're doing large data pump imports, where the time with the index generation phase can be a real problem. The automatic PGA allocation algorithm is usually pretty good, but it is not necessarily optimized for memory intensive operations. I've demonstrated indexing, but that isn't the only case where automatic PGA management may, may, may not be what you want. Certain large queries may also perform suboptimally when using auto PGA. So just bear in mind that sometimes reversing to manual PGA management may be what you need to do. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.